What's going on guys, Matt here with TNM Product Reviews coming back at you with another review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at some of the products from Right in the Rain. Uh, so if you're familiar with the brand, they make um, a wide selection of notebooks and covers, pens, things like that, that are water resistant. Uh, the easiest way to say it. So let's take a look at the first item here and it's actually going to be just one of their basic notebooks. Uh, so this is one of their four by six top spiral notebooks. Um, the, the notebooks, when you purchase them, they come with 50 sheets of paper. So you get a hundred pages in total. And these are just basic line pages. Now, if you actually look at them, they do have dotted grids on them as well. So if you did want to use this as a uh, grid paper, if you're trying to mark something out, or even if you want to do it on draw something, you need grid lines, they have them. Uh, so this one here is their FDE book. You can get it in a couple different colors. You can get uh, light tan, black, orange, yellow, OD green, gray, beige, brown, blue. And then this one here is the FDE the pages themselves are made from polydura material so that's what actually keeps them waterproof so if i had a bucket of water i'd show you but if you pour water on this it just beads right off it doesn't soak into the paper and the paper doesn't really it doesn't turn to mush like regular paper would it's actually got like a waxy coating almost on it now to write on these, you need a standard number two pencil. Uh, you can also use a write in the rain pen. Any of those would have the pressurized capsules in them like the Fisher Space Pen will also work. You can use those, a number two pencil, the write in the rain or the Fisher Space Pen refills to write on these tablets anytime. So whether they're wet, they're greasy or they're dry, they will write on this tablet. Now, when the paper is dry, you can use a standard ballpoint pen. However, water-based pens, you don't want to use those. So your gel pens, things like that, they're gonna, they're gonna beat up and it's just gonna smear all over the page. Uh, but they are grease, sweat, water resistant. So just to show you here, it actually has on the back of it, you also get the back cover has uh, a centimeter and an inches roller. So it looks like you get about close to about four and a half inches there, eh, four and a quarter. And then over here you get 11 centimeters. And then on the inside, we just kind of have an overview of their products that they sell. So over here is what you can use. Uh, wet or dry pencil, right in the rain, wax markers, crayons, oil and pastel paints. When it's dry, permanent markers, standard ballpoints. And you can't use gel pens, highlighters, fountain pens, watercolor, or acrylic paint. So that gives you an idea of what you can and can't use. So if you forget, it's already marked in the back cover. And then they have a couple other their products here. And on the front page... So on the front page here, we have measurement conversions. So you have metric to US, US to metric, English linear me er, measurements. So you have your inches to foot, inches to yard, feet to yard, and then so on and so forth. And then you have your map scaling. And that's actually what these rollers on the side here are for. And on the top, these are gonna be for, if you look at that one there, it's a, a one and 100,000 meter scale. Let's see, you have a one and 50,000 meter scale and a one in 25,000, I'm sorry, 250,000 to a one in 250,000 meter scale. So if you're looking at maps when you're out and about, if you're out hiking and you need reference points for your map or, or measurements for your map has it there. It also has the conversion tables on the front. So these are pretty cool. I actually use this one for work. Um, so not all the time. 
do I get to stay dry? Unfortunately, there are times where we walk in and there might be um, blocks that might be flooded or cells that are flooded. We also may have to move some stuff or restrain somebody. Uh, OC spray comes into play and this survives through it. If I had a regular notebook in my pocket, my pants, my pant pocket got wet, you know, my cargo pockets got soaked, a regular notebook's not going to make it out of that, but this will. Uh, so it's nice, it's convenient. I can take all the notes I need. It fits in my pocket. We don't have, we don't use button up uniforms. We use pullers, so I don't have the breast pockets, but this throws in your regular pocket, your back pocket, cargo. You don't even realize it's there. It's nice and small. All right, guys, so let's move on to the next item here. So I don't carry this without carrying a pen. Um, so in most cases, I carry a G2, which isn't going to work in this most of the time. So I actually keep it with a right in the rain pen. So this is the right in the rain all weather metal clicker pen. So you just press down on the top and you get the pen. Um, so the overall dimensions of the pen is 5.13 inches by 0.38 inches by a half inch. So it's just your standard size pen, nothing, nothing special. It does write with permanent ink. And this one, if I can let me see here, and it does have the right in the rain cartridge in it. It's just going to be hard for that camera to focus. There we go. So there's the right in the rain cartridge that it comes with. I do have Fisher Space Pen backups for on this. And you just unscrew the part that unclicks from the back there. So the cartridge in this, like I said, it is permanent ink. It writes through water, grease, mud. There's no smearing with it. Uh, it is a pressurized cartridge. So it can write in negative 30 degrees Fahrenheit up to 250 degrees Fahrenheit and underwater up to 35 feet. So that's pretty cool. Um, pretty much any condition you can want. Listen, I do tours outside, it's cold. Um, I can tell with like the G2 style pens, if I'm outside long enough, especially here in PA where the weather gets cold, um, they, they get sluggish. They, they don't wanna write as well. Sometimes they skip or they don't write at all. This is good up to negative 30. We've never had negative 30 degree weather here. Uh, I think the lowest we've had is negative 20 with a wind chill. And that was a few years ago. So this would still operate. As for heat, 100 degrees is the max that we would probably get around here. Yet again, still good to write. Underwater, I'm not, I'm not going underwater with this thing. I'm not a diver. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not swimming with this thing in my pocket, trying to write underwater or take notes. But uh, if the notepad's wet, it is nice that this will still write with it. Now you can get these in a couple different colors as well. So again, this is the flat dark earth. The camera will focus on it. There we go. Uh, you can also get it in black, orange, green, and then that standard color that I have. Uh, pen range is, or the pen's price is $16.50. I'll have a link in the description below. And the notepad on sale, for a single notepad, it is $6.42 on sale or $8.01. Yet again, I will have a link in the description below for both of those. Um, now, I keep the pen as well as the notebook in another Right in the Rain product. Uh, so this is the Right in the Rain Weatherproof Kodora fabric notebook cover. Uh, so as you can see, I have it in the multi-cam and it is just a zippered pouch that flips open. And this one's specifically designed for the top spiral notebooks. So that way, let me set it back up here for you the way I usually have it. So that way, if you're using it, you flip it open, your notebook's right there, and then you can flip that open and use it. 
I'll take the notebook back out and show you what this thing's made of here. So this does hold just the four by six top spiral notebooks. Uh, it is made from weather resistant and it's the tough Kedora fabric. So it's kind of that, uh, that military rip stop almost. So it's, it's real durable. I've had, I've had this thing for a few months and you can barely, barely even tell except for the fact that it has worn into the items that I keep inside. Uh, so going inside, obviously you have the right in the rain tagging there. And on both sides, there is a pocket back here that runs the length of the that side uh, so I keep a little field notes book in there and this one is the graph paper so I keep it in there behind my notebook that way if for some reason I need a grid paper I have it yes the book already has it but that's kind of an extra flipping around to the other side here you have four internal pockets for pens um, as you can see I also have a Ooh, it's not going to come out. There we go. I have a Olight i3T in there, a little backup light. I also have a, also have my O pen in there, because this takes, uh, this actually is a gel, I believe it's a gel insert, but there's an adapter to put the Fisher Space Pens in it, so eventually I'm going to get that. And then I keep my Right in the Rain pen. And in the last pocket, I will keep either uh, my Fisher refills or a spare G2. That way, if mine just happens to go out, I usually keep it in the, the top of my shirt uh, or in my arm pockets that I have. But if it runs out, then I have a spare G2 with me as well. Uh, so the, uh, the, the notebook cover, you can get it in four different colors. So you can get it in the multi-cam. You can also get it in tan, black, and then an ACU camo as well. And the price on this is $21.95. Uh, so, and it, it is, it's, it's gonna have that same kind of weather resistant resistance that the notebook has. A little bit less, it is fabric. The paper is made specifically to defeat water, uh, mud, grease, things like that. This is going to resist them, so most water that's going to get on it's just going to roll off, no big deal. Um, I haven't had a problem with it. I've never had it soaked yet, but um, I trust that it will it will hold up just like the notebook does. And then for my notebook, all I do for mine, I usually leave the front cover closed, that way the paper doesn't get folded up. But on these, they always come with this kind of cardboard back flap. I never take it off, but I use it in the back cover. And then just slide it down in there. Close it up. And that, it makes the notebook a little bit bigger. But for, if you're using a cargo pocket, this is nice. You can then unzip it, flip it open, and you have a nice little kit to take notes um, if you're out if you're law enforcement most of them carry just a little leather flip open but if you need something a little nicer that's another option like i said we're working in the jail this keeps everything in one spot i'm not losing stuff throw it in my cargo pocket and then when i need to take notes i can just pull it out and take notes so that is the right in the rain waterproof Kedora fabric notebook cover all right, guys, so let's move on to the last item here from the Right in the Rain series that I have. And this is the waterproof organizer. So it's a binder. Everybody knows these from school. Um, so it's just your typical binder. However, it is made with the Right in the Rain material again. So it's just, again, it's the Kodora fabric on the outside. It is uh, water resistant and it also has that tear and rip resistance to it um, so looking at the outside here you have an adjustable carry handle so all you do is just unvelcro it 
pull it through as much as you want. And you can make it larger. If you need a little bit bigger carry handle, you can tighten it down, make it almost flood, or make it to where you almost can't get a hold of it. I usually keep mine back just a little bit. Give me a little handle there. On top of that, it has a little D -ring, plastic D-ring clip. Clip. <laughs> it has a Velcro uh, tape for like name tapes on the side, and it has an exterior pocket. So you can store stuff in the front there if you have little notes or anything. Um, in this day and age, I actually have a mask in there. This book is for me is dedicated to um, our union. So I have a mask in the front just in case I have to go to a meeting and I don't happen to have one with me, even though it is a requirement for us. Um, if I'm out and about and I have to rush in quick, I have an extra mask. So on the outside, you have a YKK zipper that opens up the binder and opens it up to have some few, or a few things in here. So obviously the extras I have added, but what came with the, the binder here is a right in the rain transparent roller. And this is all, all hooked up with three one inch rings. And then you have a field planner. Now this is just a basic one. On the back here, it has your measurements and conversions, your map scales, uh, linear measurement conversions, and then obviously a couple of their items that they sell. Down at the bottom, you have a one in 100,000 meter scale for mapping. Up top, you have a one in 25,000 to one in 250. And on the side, a one in 50,000. So you have that same map scaling as the notebook has. Um, and then they give you a few basic pages here. So you're uh, kind of like a, an appointment or a scheduler, like today. And then you can choose what day it is, the date, the hours of the day, leave some notes in there. Um, and you get a week's worth of those. And that's really all that it came with. So looking at the front panel, you have four spots for... Uh, writing utensils, so as you can see, I have two highlighters. I usually have my right and rain pen there and then an extra G2. You have a little bit larger pocket here on the end, um, so you could put like an SD or a jump drive in there. Uh, I have a few spare pens. If I'm talking with somebody and they need a pen, I can give them one when I'm in a meeting. Little mesh zipper pouch up top. Yet again, you can hold little items, uh, so I have some sticky notes in there. Uh, you can put flash drives, you can put business cards, really whatever you wanted. Has a little fabric D-ring up top here and a pocket behind that. So I have um, a couple larger scratch books in there. Going to the back. So in the back of the book, or the back of the binder, you have a large pocket in the very back, so as you can see, I have a stack of papers in there. It's actually one of our contracts. And then you have some pockets down here at the bottom. Uh, a little bit larger one on this side. And then these are your, your business card style. So they fit your standard size business card, credit cards, things like that on these little pockets. All right, let's see here. And that's really everything for the binder itself. Uh, Color-wise, multi-cam, obviously. You can also get it in black, tan, and ACU. So you do have those standard colors. Uh, the only thing you can buy in a more variety of color is gonna be the notebooks, uh, which will fit in here as well. Uh, if you wanna put one in, like in that side stuff pocket, or even out front here, you know, you can carry the extra stuff. You can get loose leaf paper for in these as well as their three hole side uh, binder. Holds standard eight by 11 paper. Right in the Rain does sell loose leaf. They also sell more of those field planners and yearly calendars and things like that. Um, I just wanted something that was a little bit bigger, a little bit nicer than the cheap ones you can buy at Walmart for 
my union stuff. I usually have my Stewart book and a couple other things in here, another contract. So it makes it nice. I've had to use it a couple times already. Uh, just jotting notes down, things like that at work. And it's, it's nice. It comes in handy, keeps everything together. You hold a lot of stuff in it. There's actually two notebooks, a couple pieces of paper or a couple thing, a couple paperwork pieces I have in here as well as some other sticky note tab tablets and uh, just little blocks of sticky notes that I usually have in here, but I took them out for the video. So it does hold a lot. Um, and yeah, I mean, there's not much, a whole lot to say, not much to say about it. It's a binder obviously, but it's just a little nicer that way. You know, if I have to run into work, all my stuff's in one spot. If it happens to be raining out, I don't have to worry about it. Uh, some of those cheap fabric ones are going to soak the water up. The cardboard that's right behind the backing is going to get uh, wet and it's going to soak up all the water and get nasty. This one here is at least going to resist that water. So the price, this thing's pricey. This is the difference between this and the Walmart version. Right now on Amazon, this is $98.77. So it is a pricey binder, but you're... I, I, I want to say with right in the rain, you're getting what you pay for. So you're paying that premium, but you're getting a nicer product. You're getting something that is going to hold up, that does hold up to the claims. It's been proven. Uh, I used right in the rain tablets when I was in Fort Benning, and I never had a single problem with them. I mean, yeah, I bought little ones, the little paper flip, flip books, but they were always shredded by the time we got back from anything whether it be from sweating, because it kept them in my breast pocket, whether if, it, if I was sweating, they would just deteriorate. Obviously, if you accidentally throw them through the washing machine, the little right in the rain books are gonna hold up. Those regular paper ones, they just disintegrate. So you, you're definitely getting what you pay for with anything right in the rain wise. So that's all I got for you here today, guys, for the right in the rain. Um, if you have any questions, you want to know something I might not have mentioned. Uh, you want to see a water test with the, with the items, let me know. Drop a comment and I will check them out. If you like the video, give it a like. Hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell notification button. So you'll be notified anytime we have any new videos coming out. That's all I got for you here today, guys. Later.